Alright, so I've seen some people speculating about the quest in the rec room, and I wanted to make my own little video about it. Now, I know most people are going to comment saying that they're just theater plays and they don't have any lures into it, and hey, you might be right. Although, here is my theory on what if rec room had a lore for the quest. First of all, I think that we have yet to see the origins of the quest timeline. It would make sense if Against Gravity would start putting some bits of lore in the quest, as diaries and cetera, to make the mode interesting and give even more hype for the quest releases. I mean, we only have one bit of lore so far, which is what happens between Golden Trophy and Crimson Cauldron. Quote, Once the Goblin King is defeated, the goblins had to find a new ruler. They end up finding the witch, who needs people to protect her as she, as she casts the curse of the Crimson Cauldron. Our four heroes arrive to stop her. End quote. That's it. There isn't more about Jomotron and Isle of Lost Skulls, actually. But this is where my theory comes in. Let's roll in a timeline and play some time travel theory warnings up there, and let's get right into it. Everything begins in the Jombotron era. Our crew is aboard their ship, the SS Coach, which was named by the one and only Coach who people heard from back in the old times. She was just known as a legend in the era we are in, and our crew gets raided by the Jumbo Boss, Jombotron's army. Our crew battles and fights along their way through the SS Coach and flies to Jombotron to shut him down. This sets up Jombotron in the timeline. Right after this, our crew finds out a time travel machine in the Jombotron hangar. This could kind of be backed up by the goblin easter egg in Jombotron as time travel would have been used already. Our characters travel back to the time Coach existed. They meet her but keep their identity secret. Coach's golden trophy then gets stolen shortly after. Our crew goes after the Goblin King to get Coach's trophy back. The goblins find a new ruler, the witch. She activated a curse that spread it across the land. Our crew once again comes in to stop her. Upon being defeated, the curse is lifted. Our, character t our characters time travel back to the future. This would be perfect to introduce a setting of a return of the Jombotron quest, taking place after Crimson Cauldron, back to the present era for our characters. It could happen in a Cyber Junk City version with Jombotron invading Earth. What could also happen is the loss of one of our crew members, through quitting or simply being tagged too much time and laser tag that you don't respawn anymore. Introducing Isle of the Lost Skull. This quest will take place right after the Jombotron sequel. Due to a teleporter malfunction, our crew is sent back to the past and stuck there. The loss of one of our members would explain as to why we're three players in Isle of Lost Skull. We teleport in the shit in the pirate ship, defenseless, and gets locked within a cage. We process throughout the whole, the whole quest and end up defeating Ghostbeard. Fast forward a few years and we are at the events of Crescendo of the Blood Moon. Now I can't really make a fully fleshed theory on what that quest is going to be yet since we don't know who the boss is and what the enemies are going to be. But Gribbly did hint at a 3 player quest for Crescendo which would explain that it would be happening right after the events of Isle Lost Skull which is followed by Jumbotron. I think that it's a pretty good theory that fits and works for now and hey if Against Gravity needs a writer for a new story base mode or even for the quests, hit me up. Who knows? I've got some pretty good ideas. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. And remember, for now, there are just theater plays <laughs> until proven otherwise. See you, see you guys.